Hello, swimmers. This is Steve Quirk, and I'm glad, sure you're all very glad that it's not Joe Kinahan. It is June 3rd, and I'm here to give you the market wrap for today's activity, okay? Uh, to start the day, we had bad news, and the bad news continued on throughout the day. The Dow Jones Industrials were down over 100 points on the close. Uh, they were down much further at one point during the day. We saw quite a bit of news in the financial sectors. Uh, the biggest news, of course, was Lehman Brothers, which was rumored to be uh, in the market to raise some cash, $4 billion, uh, as they negated that rumor and did not, said they had, there was not a need to raise capital. The market had a bit of a rally this afternoon. Uh, the S&Ps at one point were down close to 13 points and rallied to a point where they were only down 7 points. Other news worth noting was the price of oil, which was down over $2 a barrel, about $2.40 a barrel. Uh, oil had been in the spotlight or the focal point of the market, but the financials have since taken, taken that. They've taken the, the villain's role of the market. Um, they're, they are today what, what got the crux of the blame for the market being in such poor shape. Uh, overall, over the last two days, we've seen the Dow shed roughly 235 points. Uh, another one of, the, one of the problems that we ran into was GM. And GM had very poor numbers, and they announced they are closing, I believe it's four plants. So that was another blow to the market. Um, both of these things just felt too heavy, even with the price of oil down 240, for the market to rebound. Um, finally, on, on the political front, uh, it appears that Barack Obama may have enough delegates to finally seal up the Democratic nomination um, so we can get to the, the main election. Um, in regards to other interesting points, in, in the market, we, we saw the volatility index, the VIX, the fear gauge, pop a little bit midday, and it subsided and ended up at a level which you know would indicate that hmm, we're right kind of back to where we were, oh, uh, let's say a month ago, and hovering right around the 20 range, which seems to be the level where I, I hate to say nobody cares, but there isn't a great pull on the upside and there isn't a great pull on the downside. Um, other than that, the rest of the week we do have quite a bit of news coming out, so uh, we will keep you abreast of, of all the developments, and good luck to everybody, and happy trading.